If you guys have jerry cans, you have probably been looking for good ways to store them in your truck since you've bought them. There are some good options on the market, but they are expensive, and who's looking to spend extra money these days? What's up guys, Essential Gear here. So I'm assuming that some of you guys are traveling this weekend like myself, happy 4th by the way, and I just had a dang epiphany. I was packing my truck out for the road trip, and depending on the distance, I always take about two of these NATO cans with me. I usually just strap them down to an anchor point, but have been experimenting with some other options like metal brackets. There are even some options at the market where companies have entire panels covering the sidewall in your truck, and you can buy these attachments or these expensive plastic jugs that affix to them, but I like budget options. And this free milk crate is about as budget as you can get. You can find them on Craigslist. Sometimes stores even give them away. And a standard crate will fit two jerry cans snugly so they won't be rattling around on you. So I was moving these things around and one of the seals must have gone bad because I smelled some fumes and spotted some droplets coming out of the nozzle. And as you know, we use these jerry cans because they hold fumes in really well, prolonging the life of the gas. So if you smell it, we probably have a problem. So we're gonna replace these seals. I always keep a few seals along with the jiggler siphon and the rag close by or near the cans. The reason being is that when it gets hot and you open that top, gas will spray out. The rag helps contain that, but since the fumes have probably been leaking, I think I'll be fine. Ordinarily on a hot day, I'd be cautious. So the key with these seals is to realize that the sides are different from each other. One side is flat and the other has a lip. The lipped or beveled side goes down. Grab yourself a flathead or if you are the fancier type of homeowner, get a pick from your snap-on tool cabinet. Anything that is not too sharp and is flat will do. Get that old seal out, inspect it, and yep, that one was definitely bad. There's also a bit of wear in the bottom of the lip, which tells me that one of my compadres was a little bit too rough opening or closing the lid a few times. And quick story, a while back I was busy and I thought it was a good idea to send my girlfriend at the time to the gas station to fill up without showing her how to open and close the jerry can. And it, it is a bit weird if you've never seen one. Most people only use like the standard plastic uh, jerry or gas cans. Long story short, she asked the attendant to help her open it and the dude used a hammer and uh, ruined it. So uh, lesson learned on my part. Opening these things is just a matter of using the proper leverage. No hammer needed. I should have taken her myself and shown her when I wasn't as busy. But anyways, now put the new seal in there with the flat side up so it's fully seated do a test fit, make sure it's making full contact or contact with the lip there, and you guys are good to go. All right, um, back to the cookout shenanigans and fireworks for me. Have a safe rest of your night. Essential gear out.